Robots Radio presents The Omega Broadcast, a Fallout story. Testing. Testing. Okay, I... I hope this thing works. I'm so grateful I was able to find that transmitter and... get this radio up and running. I, I just hope the signal goes far enough for you. Whoever you are. Wherever you are. I just hope you can hear me. My name is Brian Burton. It's been 26 years since the bombs fell. And I was only 10 years old when that happened. I grew up in Point Pleasant, West Virginia, but Ten years old isn't a lot of time to remember much of a life before, well, before all of this. See, mostly all I can remember is fishing down by the riverbank with my friends and taking those school field trips to the Mothman Museum. <laughs> or my personal favorite thing was collecting Grognak comics and the Silver Shroud hollow tapes. You know, I was able to find so many more now. I even have some of those hollow tapes I like to listen to when I go to sleep. My, my dad owned a comics bookstore in the heart of the town, and he never really got the really good comics. His store wasn't like the Hubris comic stores, but. Man, he really loved that store. And I don't know if it was trying to start a small business along with the pressure of losing his mining job to robots, but something really took a toll on his health. And man, did my dad hate robots. I remember he used to say, Son, the bots belong to the Red Menace. And his favorite thing to always say was, The only good robot is a scrapped robot. But sadly, he passed away just two weeks before Halloween. Yeah, I'll never forget that day. You see, I really wanted to be Grognak for Halloween. And we were supposed to take a trip over to the Valley Galleria Mall to buy me the costume, but... Sadly, I, I never made it to the mall. See, my dad had a heart attack that morning. And, and then I, I was sent off to live with my mom who was a professor at Vault Tech University in Morgantown. See, the day the bombs fell, which was only a few days after my dad's death, 
My mom, she gave up her spot in the vault to save my life. She sacrificed herself for me. But I'd be lying if I didn't say there was a small part of me that feels like she's out here somewhere. Watching me or maybe trying to find me. I, I, I don't know. She used to always tell me, little bear, one day you will build a better world. And now I can't help but think there was some sort of prophecy in her words. Because now more than ever, I understand the importance to rebuild and make this world better than it was before. Before I got on the bus headed to the vault that morning, sirens going off and chaos everywhere, my mom told me, no matter what, just do whatever the overseer says. And from the moment the vault doors close, that's, that's all I've done. <laughs> I really didn't fit in down in that vault. You know, everyone there were either teachers and professors or the smartest students from Vault Tech University. There were even some politicians and members of the military inside there. I can recall there were some celebrities too. <laughs> and right smack in the middle of all of them. Just a 10 year old country kid. <laughs> Let me tell you, I've, I've seen and heard some pretty crazy stuff in that vault. And I remember people telling me to steer clear of this loud mouth girl and her tough talking boyfriend. What were their names again? Chat. Ah, never mind. It, it, it doesn't matter. I need to stay on track with my story before my generators run out of gas. All right, so now cut 26 years later and, and I'm out of the vault. Back in the land I only knew as a kid. And for a whole year, the only other people around were people I had met in the vault. The overseer went missing. So many creatures and aggressive robots wanting to kill me all the time. and I discovered secret organizations and ex-military factions. <laughs> Hell, I'm now a general in the United States Army somehow. I, I don't know how that works. I've even launched a nuclear missile to, to help stop the spread of a, a crazy disease. I, see... I wanted to tell you a little bit about me so you can have a better understanding of what I'm doing out here. Since the vault doors open, I've tried to build suitable settlements and places for people to call home, but none of them ever worked out until right now. I believe I found the perfect place to build. I've got fortified cliffs as, as, as a wall to protect us and just a, a, a great place for safety. See, I call this place Omega. I feel like it's a fitting name for a new home in the end of the world. It's not a very big settlement, but I've got the ability to get water and food and the hunting spots near here are always full of wild game like rat stags and rabbits and things. I even have a one bedroom trailer that I've marked the end for passersby. And there's even a bar for you to relax from your travels across Appalachia. One of the things I'm proudest of is the small market that I was able to open with you know, pretty much anything that you might need. Well, at least some stuff to help get you to where you're going. And if you're looking for a place to make your permanent home, I 
I've got plenty of room for you to build. So, if you're able to receive this broadcast, then I've marked my location inside it. Just put it into your map and head this way. Oh, shit. My generators look like they're starting to run out of fuel, so I think this is going to have to be all for now. I don't know, maybe I'll be able to get one of those power plants up and running again so I can get some sort of consistent power to this radio broadcast and to the settlement. Well, until then, this is Brian Burton signing off. Remember, there's a place for you at the end. Omega. This is Brian Gwatney, the creator of the Omega Broadcast, a Fallout story. I just wanted to take a moment real quick and just say thank you so much for checking out this podcast. I really hope you enjoy listening to these stories just as much as I enjoy making them. If you do enjoy this podcast, please let me know by liking, sharing, and even through your comments. Thank you again so much for your support. Remember, there's a place for you at the end. Omega. Omega.